doing my chores, hung up my coat, set the eggs down. Before I went out, I decided that I was going to put my thinking hat on that I mentioned in the previous video, <laughs> hoping it would give me some brainy ideas on how to catch that one chicken that had escaped. So I went out there. <clears throat> She was out, of course, and she was near, kind of walking around, and I thought, I am going to get the net, the fishing net. So that's what I did. I got the fishing net, it had a couple of holes in it, and I thought, well, hopefully it's woven enough to keep her in it if I can get close to her. Well, I walked out there. She was near the run and miraculously she ran into a corner by the door to go into the run and put the net out over the top of her. I got her right away and she started coming out one of the holes but I was able to pick her up took her into the coop I got the scissors clipped her wing one of her wings they grow back every year so for those who don't know don't worry about it it will just keep her safe in the coop now and then I looked at the net. I had to cut the netting off of her because she was so tangled up in it. So then I had huge holes in the net. Now I have another project to do. But oh well, I got her, I clipped her wings, I put her in. Now hopefully I will be able to collect an egg from her every day like I am from the other five white leghorns that are in that last coop and she won't be hiding her eggs somewhere in my yard on my property there is a pile of eggs unless other animals have been stealing them I don't know I just think one of these days I'm gonna come upon it and there will be a huge pile of eggs <laughs> hopefully now I will be able to gather those eggs so yay I didn't have my camera with me, so you didn't get to see me going through all that weird, awkward uh, stuff <laughs> of trying to catch her and clipping her wing and cutting her out of the net and stuff like that. So I've got my chores all done, got my eggs gathered. Every chicken in that third coop laid an egg again today, and they've been doing that lately for a long time. Oh, my daughter made me this shirt. <clears throat> So, says I don't have ducks or a row. I have chickens. And uh, I can't read it. Yeah, that's a different font. Anyway, they're everywhere, basically. And she made this shirt for me because my chickens kept getting out. Well, now they're all in, so I think I need a new shirt. <laughs> Okay, there have been a lot of videos lately from homesteaders showing us all how to start our seeds, but in my altitude, uh, we haven't even looked in our seed boxes yet, let alone start any seeds. Our average last frost date is May 20th, so if you subtract six to eight weeks from that, it would put you in about March, about March 20th uh, or the end of March before we can start any of our seeds. But here's some of the seeds that uh, I have in my box. You can see there's several packages there. Not as many as some of the farmers and gardeners have, but you know, one seed goes a long way, so 
this is enough and I'm not going to plant several varieties of everything. Um, by now I pretty much know what I like. Last year I planted celery, which I'm going to plant again this year. Let's see what I got here. Uh, yellow wonders, green peppers. I'll plant those again. Creeping thyme. Yeah, I think I might plant some of that. Well, I don't know. Yes, I will plant creeping thyme because I have changed my one herb area where I had some planted. Uh, summer squash, it look like, yes, I will plant those. Broccoli, yep, I will. And also on my broccoli and cabbage and any other brassicas that I may plant, I am going to put thuricide on them, which is an organic insecticide. It, the initials it has is BT, and uh, I, I think the T stands for thuricide. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do, because last year I got like one meal of broccoli. This year I want to get a freezer full. Pole beans? Um, I don't think so. Not this year. I'm going to plant bush beans this year. What is this? This is like a little chart that I made last year. So the type of seed was celery. You need to start at 10 weeks before, so March 1st. I think that's what it says, first. Or 11th. It's when I plant, started them last year, or should have. But I'm not gonna go over all of that because every other channel has already taught you that. And here's my celery seeds also. Okay, arugula. I planted arugula last year. It's okay, but I like spinach better, so even though I saved some seeds, I'll probably plant a few just because I saved them, but I'm not sure if I'll plant very much. Sometimes you have to plant things to find out that you don't really like them. Okay, this just talks about Peas, plant them early in the summer, mulch heavy, uh, keep root, to keep roots cool, rotate location. You rotate the location because peas deliver nitrogen to the soil. So you want to move them around, plant them in several places so that they can enrich the soil with nitrogen. And these are some that I bought last year, frosty pea and wando pea. So I'll be using some of those. There's more broccoli peas that I saved from last year. I'll plant some of those. Here's some more peas. These are Lincoln. I'll probably grow the ones that expire first and maybe if, maybe I'll grow two varieties of those peas, I don't know. So here's a pepper that starts out green and then turns to red. I'm gonna try that again. You know what, I don't really like radishes, so I might just give those away. Spinach, that's what I like. That's the leaf that I like. So I'll be planting more spinach this year. More broccoli, Brussels sprouts, I'm gonna try those again. And put that BT on them. Uh, cabbage, same with that. Here's some tomatoes that I've been planting the last couple of years. They're a, an heirloom. Let's see, where does it say that? Somewhere. Right there. They're called Marglobe. And they do pretty well. I just need to get them outside at the right time. Eggplant. Planted that this year. This is the Japanese eggplant, long and skinny. It was okay. It's not my favorite food. So, question on that. I don't know if I'll plant it again. Okay, I have more radishes. More radishes. Cucumbers. I'll probably plant cucumbers this year. These beans are stringless and they are 
Wow, look at that. Looks nice, huh? Bush beans. And I'm going to plant bush beans this year instead of pole beans. And here's some Blue Lake bush beans. So I'll plant those two. Parsley. We'll see if mine comes up again. If not, I'll plant more. Basil. I like to put it around here and there because it has such a a smell to it that it will keep certain pests away. At least that's what they say. I think I'll plant some of these cute squash. Golden scallop. Oh, this zucchini. It's heirloom from Johnny Seeds. It's Costata Romanesco. And it makes the biggest zucchini even when they're young they're they're big but they are so tender even when they're big and the leaves are ginormous so i enjoyed planting that before i'll do that again oh and here here's what they look like so this must be something similar to that costata romanesco because that's what they looked like that's why i bought these because they look like those others it might be the same thing somebody may have just given it another name I don't know if they can do that. Uh, these are Crookneck that I saved. I want to plant some Blue Hubbard squash. It's one of our favorites of all time, um, but I haven't grown it for a long time. It takes a big space and it grows big food. These are Buttercup. I like those, green on the outside, orange on the inside. Really nice. There's some butternut. Okay, because corn. There's some corn. I've got sacks of corn. Um, sacks like this. This is heirloom corn. But I have sacks that are this type of a sack, but they're packed full of corn. So, let's see how they do. I'll probably have to plant a few different kinds of corn because they're getting older. So I want to be sure I get some this year. Last year, I got about two meals worth. Here's some banana squash. Seeds that I've saved. Locust trees is what that says. They grow well around here. College tree seeds. Um, these are seeds that I picked up off the ground over at the college. And I really like the type of tree they are. But I have not tried growing them yet, so maybe this year I will. This is how I keep my carrot seeds in a big spice shaker that I have emptied out. Let's see. Oh, I didn't label it. It says cinnamon, but it's not. It's carrot seeds that I have bought in bulk and saved over the years. And the way that I plant them, the shaker top on this spice jar is how I plant my carrot seeds. I just, I just make a space about one foot wide, a row about one foot wide, and then I just go along, I'm gonna shut this, go along and I shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, out on the ground on my one foot wide area for as long as I want my row to be. That's what I normally do. Last year I made a section of carrots in my raised bed. So it was more like four feet wide and four feet long, something like that. Maybe six feet long. But normally I just do a one foot wide row. And then the trick about carrots, along with several other vegetables that you may grow is that you need to thin them when they start germinating, when they get up a little bit, they're a little bit strong. You need to thin them as far apart as you want your carrots to be, like at least an inch apart, maybe two inches apart. And if you do that, you'll have wonderful looking carrots. If you don't do that, you'll have a few that are medium to big maybe, 
and a lot of little ones. So, depends on what kind you want at the end of your harvest. So, that's the carrots. And then, in this cute little basket, I have put flower seeds. So, there's some California giant zinnias. I try to buy heirloom seeds so that I can replant them. So, as often as I can, I do. I've got some herbs in here too, more parsley and more basil. But I've got mostly flowers, zinnias, zinnias. Let's see what else I have besides. I've got some. Morning Glory. Four zinnias. Larkspur. Okay. And then somewhere else out on my porch, I have some marigolds. And I don't know what else. But so there's my seeds. So it's the 18th of February. On the 20th of February, it will be one month before I can plant any of these in little cups to start them. So, <laughs> maybe my next video will be me doing a jigsaw puzzle. I can do those really fast on time lapse and it, <laughs> it will be so fun for you to watch. So, I just wanted to let you know that I did put my thinking cap on. I did catch that chicken, yay, and clipped her wing. Hopefully, she will not be able to get out again. Hopefully, I will not see her out of the coop and out of the run again tomorrow. I don't think I will because it usually works to clip their one wing. So, and then I showed you my seeds and let you know that it'll still be a while before we can start planting them into little pots for starts. And a little while more after that before we can put anything in the ground. However, I usually do start my peas around St. Patrick's Day, which I've mentioned before. So that's in one month, I could put those out. And then the middle of April, we have before planted our other cold weather crops like potatoes. And I'm gonna try planting my brassicas at that time too. If they freeze, I'll replant. And if they freeze again, I'll replant. But I wanna plant my brassicas as early as possible. So hopefully they can be stronger then the bugs, and then like I said, I'm going to spray them with BT. And hopefully that will do the trick. Okay, so we've done all of that. I was gonna say one more thing. I remembered what I was going to say. <laughs> In about two days, we're expecting a snowstorm. The temperatures will be getting cooler. <clears throat> Today it was 50. Tomorrow it's going to be something like 54 or 56, something like that. And then the next day we're supposed to get snow and the temperature will drop again. And for about three days we have a possibility of snow. So I'm really hoping that we get as much as we can, as we deserve to get. I hope we deserve to get a good amount of snow because we really need it here in our dry climate. And uh, we have a field way out back, and that field needs a big drink. So I really hope that we get the snow and the rain, whatever we can get um, later on this week and early next week, actually. So, fingers crossed. And remember that you can like and subscribe and make a comment and share with your friends. And even when you take it slow, you can accomplish a lot, even catching a chicken. Thanks for watching.